Welcome to the Screen Rot Podcast, the podcast where we discuss the weirdest and worst content that's been rotting our screens and indeed our minds. I'm here with Jake Farrell, General. <laughs> oh, wow. Military. Style. Yeah. Well, do you know, so I've been saying that General thing. Yeah. It's... I'm aware you've been saying that. Yeah. Because <laughs> been saying... you've been saying it to me a lot when I'm trying to do things, when I'm busy, <laughs> when you're ringing me out of nowhere. It's, it's Charlie Parsons. Do you know who that is? No, I don't. Oh, mate. He's great. He's this like kid from Shropshire who's become a YouTuber who does all like boxing interviews. He interviews Eddie Hearn and stuff oh, okay. and calls him General. I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's a laugh. Anyway, how are you? He's What's from he Shropshire. Uh, yeah, he's, he's from like um, Sirencester. Amazing. And, and he walks around in like stonies and saying things like General <laughs> and he tries to get Eddie Hearn. He's to, nicked your vibe. He's like, say, he's, <laughs> he's like, say Charver, say Charver, Eddie. And he's like, you're from the Cotswolds. What are you doing? Anyway. anyway. Eddie Hearn saying something on for social media clicks? No well, way. He'll well, never work. Let, let's, let's, we'll get, we'll, we'll, we'll leave Parsons for today. How are you? What's been going on what's happening in your world i should address the vest by the way mm. um i'm wearing the vest today because well an unnamed person who we're not going to name someone who we featured in an episode yes. recently uh well didn't take it very well Did- i will just quickly say so if any there might be people who are new to the podcast every week we discuss a different content creator we take the piss a bit we, we try we try and be balanced we've had people <laughs> we try and be balanced <laughs> but we've had, so i no, but i should say um, we maybe like third episode in, mm-hmm. we did El Burrito Monster, yes. a, a guy called Ollie from Manchester who makes insane burritos. We, we took the piss. We did. Fucking Ollie now listens every week. He does. Comments, messages. He's on it. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's one of the gang. So if if we end up taking a piss out of something, don't, like you don't have to be a dick about it. Yeah, yeah. Right. Whereas someone in in the last few episodes <laughs> who wears vests like this. Uh, uh, commented on the YouTube video being sarcastic, which mm. I didn't appreciate at all. I yeah. think that's I think that's lowest form of wit. Um, <laughs> he blocked us on all platforms. You're in for a treat, everyone today. <laughs> then, if that's the lowest form of wit, he blocked us on all platforms, and then he, um, well, we don't we don't have this proven. I'd put up a a, a, a harmless video on our Instagram channels yeah. of a guy walking an emu mm-hmm. up north and some lads taking the mick. Yeah, and he he. It was 100% him. We don't know that. He he reported it. Well, we don't know that. And got it blocked. Sure. And I think that's just pathetic. Well, I think what we would like to say is, whilst we are still waiting for the, <laughs> chari- the charity boxing match with Cycling Mikey, yeah. um, this, this kind of... We don't want to feud with this person. No. We send love and respect to this person and we say... Uh, like the episode was meant kind of out of love. Yeah, we did slag you off for an hour. That, that's how Jake feels, by the way. That, none of that is how I feel, but that, but I'm not going to talk about how and I look, feel. Look, we've had some time to reflect. And here at Screen Rot Enterprises, we are today, and I think you'll see this today, we're going to talk about we're going to talk about someone today. And there's a there's a tinge of love in there. I think if if you've inspired us to talk about you, there's a tinge of love in there somewhere, and we hope that people can understand. There's loads that. of love. There's loads of love in there. And but, also, but, all of these people are making shitloads of money from social media. Yeah, so this exactly, is what yeah, you get. Yeah. We're not going after any paupers, by the way. Yeah. They've all got more subscribers than us. <laughs> if They've we're going after someone with like, if we're going after a bloke from Sirencester with fifty followers, then I think, yeah. This... Well, Parsons has got loads of followers, but, oh, okay. I, but I know what you're we're saying. Not going after yeah, him yeah. Anyway. Parsons is huge. Parsons is partnered with Wow Hydrate, which is great hydration, by the way. Wow. <laughs> If Wow Hydrate want to chat, we're, we're game. But, um, anyway, but no, that's no, but, that. But no. Uh, feud it, over. Well, it's not feud over. I'm, it I'm wearing the over. vest for a reason. No, you're not. You're wearing the vest for any other reason than to <laughs> draw attention visually to the person we're talking about without saying this person's name because we're never going to talk I about I look better again. in a vest than him, I think, so I'm a bit fat. I've got a bit of a dad bod. I'm not even sure I would agree that, with that, that's, to be that's, fair. That's, that's, what, um, that's the other thing as well. This person looked like a male model. Just get on with it. You're fine. Yeah, I look like a drug addict. Do you want a gift? Oh well, okay. This uh, I, I knew you were going to find a way of getting us out of that. Now, <laughs> Jay, Jay. That's it. That's that. Feud over. I've now got a gift to bring positivity to the podcast. I've got a gift for you that is podcast related. It's just a small gift, a small token that we will be able to use. It's, it's going to be usable in the podcast as well. Tax tax right offable. <laughs> um, it's, it's funny you're saying tax right offable because as you were speaking there, you, you referred to us as Screenwriter Enterprises, and right. immediately I was like, we should register as a limited company. <laughs> Write all this off as losses, and we could officially go bankrupt, and then I wouldn't have to say. No, nope, anyway, we're not doing anyway, that. Um, uh, I don't want my name on company's house anywhere near your name on company's house. <laughs> I've got, I've got. I'm not going to talk about what. No, I don't do. talk about um, it. So, you got me a present. I've got you a present. Now, I've got a feeling I know what it is. I should say before you do this, I don't accept gifts ever. What, what the fuck does that mean? Uh, I don't. It's like a thing I've got. Uh, I from for about the last 
17 years, I've never accepted a gift. <laughs> 17 years? <laughs> so what, how, how old are you? Am I now? How old 33. Am I? Okay, so when you were like 15. 16, yeah, yeah. I made the call and I'm like, no more gifts ever in life. I don't get gifts. <laughs> Why? Uh, what happened? Uh, it, no, nothing. Ha- well, something did happen. <laughs> Do you want to know what happened? On my 16th birthday, the, yes. sorry, I know you're trying to get this episode started, but I'm, I'm in a funny mood today. Hence the best. No, yeah. 16th birthday. I'm sure the funny mood will be noticeable to all the listeners. <laughs> He's behaving so differently from all the other times we've recorded the podcast. <laughs> so the last episode we did, I'm just thinking when this is going to come out, the last episode we did, we spoke about Eddie Abu. I think this we is did. directly we after Eddie. We spoke about Eddie Abu, yeah. directly after, and check it out, great episode. We said about Eddie Abu being a wind-up dad. Mm. Now, I'm I'm the son of a wind-up dad. Mm. Um, my 16th And the birthday, dad of a wind-up son as well. Yeah, my son, I've got a Bengali son. Should we explain that quickly? No. <laughs> That's going to have my to go. My son's name. No, 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 no. We won't have to go. Let's explain. My son's name is Sonny. Uh, I wanted him to I wanted it to be spelled S-O-N-N-Y. My missus, for some reason, insisted on it being S-U-N-N-Y, which I, I've never met anyone who is S-U-N-N-Y unless it's short for either Sunil or Sunveer. So, okay, so, right. I see, so, I see, I see. So my, my son, it does sound like I've got a Bengali son when I haven't. I've just, I've just got a son, but my missus is a hippie. I've made so many tangents. <laughs> my dad, he's a wind-up dad. This is why I don't accept gifts. You're about to give me a gift, first one I've had in 17 years. This is why I don't have gifts. When I was 16 years old, I wanted an Xbox. Well, right. I, I'd wanted an Xbox for years. Mm. I just wanted to play Halo. I wanted an Xbox. Halo, yeah. okay, mm. not FIFA. That was Halo. a thing. No, that was a thing. But I already Halo had a PlayStation, was the big one, so right, I could yeah. play FIFA. Right, but I see, I see, I see. Halo was Xbox only. I wanted to play Halo. Mm. I've been asking, and, and I also, when I was a kid, I had a real thing about, like, I was very guilty about feeling spoiled. I never wanted to be too demanding of my parents. You, no, seriously, I, I was I was, I was aware that mum and dad didn't have loads of money, and I, mm. I, ne- I never wanted to be asking them stuff all the time. I, I, I remember they'd be like, what do you want for Christmas? And I, I'd never be able to say I want something. This, I mean, this is... Just a smile off me old mother. No, no, but I, I'd, I'd be like, well, I'd like this, but I, I wouldn't say I want it. It's okay. I, I, honestly, I was super, super sensitive to stuff like right, that. Right, okay. I'd, I'd come out my skin, I'd go on, I, would, I, I want an Xbox. <laughs> Yeah, you were super sensitive to it up until the point where you demanded well, an Xbox. I wanted Xbox. a 400 pound game console. Yeah, yeah. No, but I never, I'd never asked for anything, and I really wanted this Xbox. Right. And then, right, morning on my 16th birthday, sure. we usually wouldn't do presents in the morning. It'd be like a thing when Dad gets home from work. All but right. they were like, "We're gonna do it now." Great box, you you okay. a box that like you know, like that. Blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. Looks like an Xbox box. Right. Dad hands it over. It's a Freeview box. <laughs> Freeview. Box. We had Sky. It got me a free view box. And I'm just there. And I, I, I was so... I think, I think he expected me to be like, piss off, Dad. But I was so sensitive about this sort of thing. I was like, thank you. And I, I remember just going to the toilet and being like, oh. oh. I was like so upset. And then I got home from school. And my dad got home from work. Yeah. And uh, he was like, oh, one more thing for your birthday. Gave me, um, gave me this little smaller box. Opened it. It was like FIFA for the Xbox. And I just looked at him like, you taking the piss? And then he pulled out the Xbox. Oh, that is proper wind up. It's proper so. wind up. It's nice, but that, that's the reason I don't accept gifts. So, and you don't accept gifts because you're worried that the the gift is going to be a wind up. Uh, it's it's I'm it's like childhood trauma of wind ups. It's I don't want to look like a spoiled brat. Childhood trauma that you received a free view box in the morning and then had to wait six he, hours. Do you know what he, he returned the free view box. He used it as a prop and then took it back to Argos. <laughs> that's incredible oh well I hope I'm not going to inflict any more childhood so if I start on crying you. in a minute yeah that will know if I'm it. expecting this to be something and mm-hmm. it's just like you're just going to lift your li- middle finger I it's going to be a Playstation 5 <laughs> yeah yeah I'm going to cry so right, just, 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 just tread carefully there we go here's your little, Thank little you. gift for those you're not watching nicely, yeah. oh yeah it's, it's in an Amazon bag <laughs> it's a bell it's a bell. It's a wisdom bell. The wisdom bell. Oh, no, I'm not going to cry. I'm very happy. <laughs> so we've been talking a lot about the... the, the, the explain, un- explain the concept of the wisdom Every bell. So often, you, you, I'll, I'll you open, open that while you explain, explain what the Every so often, bell. Jacob will say something so intentionally, unintentionally uh, kind of insightful and filled with wisdom that I'm just kind of rendered slightly speechless by it. Um, and as a result, I wanted us to have a wisdom bell. So I've got a little kind of 40 Towers bell. I'm just going to pop that there. If you say anything, anything slightly insightful. Ah, oh, <laughs> that's go. great. No, I'm very happy with that. That's a very nice. I'm gift. just going to build loads of props until this becomes such a big stage show. We have to do it in like the, the Palladium or something. 
both of us sat there in widow well, twanky costumes. Well, on that on that subject about <laughs> becoming a stage show. Oh yeah, we've got live shows planned. I know we've been teasing this for ages. It, it's going to be August. Um, it's going to be North London, and I think I know who the guest is going to be, and and they're great. Um, so watch this space, Rotters. We've got info coming on that. Any more? Any anything else we should address quickly? We're sort of ten minutes into an intro, where I've, I've just chatted bollocks. <laughs> um, no. Uh, Dents, you grab that little spray for me, please. Yeah, Specifically, spray. Thank you. Um, Dents, uh, a combination of finasteride and minoxidil. It's a topical thing. You stick it on your hair. Your hair grows back. Fight male pattern baldness. Jacob thirty at checkout to get thirty percent off. What a deal. That was professional, that. Yeah, I know, yeah. I'm going to have to get another bell for they, professionalism in a yeah, minute. Yeah, they're, they're threatening to stop sending okay. it now, and, and that's the problem. It, your hair does fall out if you stop using it. So they, they've really got me hooked now. There's there's a gun to my head. Um, right. <laughs> the first taste is free. Live uh, live show, yes. Um, Dent, done. Anything else we need to address? Uh, oh, Conor McGregor's after me. Um, we'll talk about that next week. Okay, well, he, he might still be after me next week. That's the goons might have come by then. I'm I'm mildly hungover today, so I'm going to warn. I'm going to chat more bollocks than usual. I'm sort of on that kind of giddiness of a hangover. Do you know what I mean? I, I the I've horror got... hasn't fully set in yet. No. Well, also, have you met my cat? I have met Mango very briefly. Yes, I got a cat last week. Got a little uh, got a, got a Bengal cat. Actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the house is uh, the house is getting fully Bengali. I got a Bengal cat. Uh, and it was me and the cat last night. I got a, I, I got an Indian takeaway delivered at twenty past eleven at night. At night, yeah. Wow. Six six pints deep. Missus was in bed with the kids, and I, I got an Indian. And I'm sat down there, sculling San Miguel's, <laughs> honking on the fucking the the weed vape. Me and the cat. She wanted a bit of naan bread. I didn't give it to her because she started shitting everywhere. But anyway, yeah. So I'm. I, that's that's been my evening. <laughs> that's the context for for what's about to happen next. Yeah. So be, just, bear I'll, in mind everything you hear before and after this point is is on the back of a twenty past eleven Indian takeaway. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I was up late. I was boozing hard <clears throat> yesterday. I was chatting some real shit, man. In in honor of Alana's birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, Mrs. Alana. Birthday, Mrs. Birthday. Happy birthday, Dad. Girl. And you are celebrating it. Uh, with and for her by recording a podcast talking about <laughs> well the birthday's influence. tomorrow we're, we're off the hook and I'm, okay. I'm also anyway yeah right so we should get on to this week's topic so this week um, we're, we're t- this guy is much more he's one of those he's much more TikTok than Instagram right he's a musician he's terrifying <laughs> he's terrifying yeah he's a scary guy um, do, he, he's one of those where I think people might not have seen this exact guy but you've seen millions like it <laughs> yeah um, and, and increasingly, it, this guy's getting quite a lot of traction at the moment, right? So I feel like... He, he's fairly hot. Yeah, he's kind of in a circle of people that are all quite hot at the moment. But yeah, he's fairly hot. Um, if you don't know the name, he's a huge Essex sort of steroid monkey um, in Boohoo Man, <laughs> tight clothing, uh, mooching around Essex, just chatting rubbish, really. Um, this week, we're talking about Jim Skin. Let's go. Right, get on this. Please. I think Essex, as an area or location, has had a bigger cultural impact than anywhere else in Europe. <laughs> I I think, in terms of like... Oh, sorry, go on. And, and so the guy we're talking about today, Jim Skin. Yes. This guy is the concentrate that you dilute to get Essex. <laughs> this is like, this is, this is Essex in its purest form. Yeah. This is uncut Essex, right? This guy, if you haven't I'm seen Jim Skin, Essex. Jim, Jim Skin is this huge guy, mm. ripped to shit. Yes. Like, he looks like Mark Wright. Do you know who Mark Wright is? Yes, It's the Towie, original Towie yeah, guy. Yeah, only he looks, he looks very much, like, he, I, I think he could do look like work, actually. Um, anyway, Jim Skin, he's this like Essex guy, runs around, does TikTok, and he does music. Yes. But he does very kind of like Essex rap. Oi, darling, let's have a drink up. We're going out and I'll tell you, kitchen sink up. Like, it's, <laughs> it's that kind of thing. Um, and he's just huge on TikTok. And, and he's just gone viral for that. He now... <sighs> we'll, we'll, t- we'll get into this. He's had um, jawbone implants. You, you, know, like, you know like Matt Rife, the comedian? Yes. So did he did he have jawbone? I thought he was just, Matt Wright. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Did he? Oh mate, you look at some before and after pictures. No. He one hundred percent had surgery. 
Um, I thought he was just one hot tamale, but he's not. No, he's... no, no, no. Well, I mean, he is, but, but yeah, he's had, <laughs> he he's had the uh, he's had the jewel. He's on. had the jewel. But anyway, on. Jim Skinner jewel on him. And where, if I needed to, would I go about getting this <laughs> <laughs> dense? <laughs> Spray some in. <laughs> um, probably can actually. I don't know. Talk to him. Um, but so this, this guy, he had jewel on implants. Yes. And because people started taking the piss out of him, right. He now, uh, every time he films his own face. He uh, every time he films his own face, he has a a filter on his face. Yeah, right. That look that's kind of like if you were to do like a piss take jaw implant. Okay, it's that. So he's hiding it, and he's he's hiding it. But this is the thing, and this is the other point I want to make about Jim Skin. Jim Skin is your quintessential big lad. He's your quintessential <laughs> fucking like hunk of junk, yeah, pench yeah, yeah, boy, yeah, yeah. right? And they are the most <laughs> vulnerable people on the planet. <laughs> yeah, they are. They are so fragile. They're so vulnerable. And Jim Skin's such an example of that. Like, he, he's constantly addressing... You can say anything to him on any of his TikTok videos, he'll uh-huh. respond. Right. Because he's so fragile. Right. Bless, bless his cotton socks. And, and so there's this, like, visual contradiction of, like, you look at him yeah. and you think, well, he, Monster. Could, he could pull along a truck with his teeth kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... At the same time, he's 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 got like a, a fragile sense, and I suppose that need to be yoked comes from an internal sense of dissatisfaction, Hugely, right? Yeah, huge. I mean, I think let's let's just watch the first one quickly. Just so it's can put super a face, quick, face to a name, but it's also it's also it just gets <clears throat> the vibe across so quickly and simply. This first one. All right, so this is a an introduction to so the this legend is Jim Skin, known as Jim Skin. Where you from? What's your insta? Yeah, I like it. But what you into? You could be my missus and I could be your mister. So come on, babe, let's take the first picture. Oh, wow. wow, look at that. Can we just stop on that? Um, is it possible to just stop I'll on that? I'll put that up here, yeah, right, yeah. Right, the tricep. The tricep, He's yeah. in unbelievable shape. But So that's his song, what he's right. dancing oh, to. Oh, okay, that's so him. That, that's something that we can't um, mistake with this. He's a musician. Yes. That's the thing. So you know, like, We've spoken about people like Bevo in the past mm. and like Mashtag Braden. Mashtag Braden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? It's like, where the fuck have they come from? Where have they come from? And also like, what are they doing? <laughs> like, what <laughs> is this? Do you know what I mean? It's like, like you, you, you like, with some, like Bevo literally says himself, he's like, I'll just do anything. <laughs> I like, if you share it, I'll just do it. I'll go to Basildon. Tell me them. what you want me to do. I'll go to Basildon. I'll go to Colchester. I'll eat dinner. Or, you know, I'll, 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 I'll get run over if you want. Whatever, please. Right? And obviously <laughs> Mashtag Braden's like, I'm Mashtag Braden. <laughs> I'm reviewing food. I'm, I'm getting yeah. chased by gangsters in Tunisia. Going to um, Albania. Yeah, for yeah. The just do anything. Yeah, yeah. You know, fist bumping Albania. And by the way, right we will do flight. anything as well. We just haven't been offered yeah, any yeah, money. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. We're just lazy. We just sit here. We will go to Basildon. <laughs> we will eat dog food. <laughs> the price <laughs> yeah. is right. Yeah. But, but Jim Skin does actually have a thing. You have yes. to, to be fair to him, he's, he's hench and he is a musician. <laughs> I'm using the term musician so loosely here. <laughs> right. Now, and, and I want to just say quickly. Um, we do do our research on these things. Yeah. We, we had another... <laughs> we've had a lot of negative... No, we haven't had a lot of negative... <laughs> lot of we, negative we get, we get loads of nice com- comments. But we got we got one... We got, we got, obviously, the poet who weren't happy. Um, and then... Oh, we weren't supposed to say his name, were we? Can't you didn't say his name, that's fine. You just said yeah, the poet. Yeah, the poet. Everyone knows what I'll I mean. Do. <laughs> um, but we also got a comment on our Top Jaw episode. Mm. And it was some weirdo. Mm. I'll tell you what, by the way. This is one thing I've learned over the last few months of doing more like social media and stuff like that. <laughs> YouTube is the weirdest place. Is it? By a mile, right? By a mile, yeah. And it's because it's because the people commenting are so faceless. Right. Like you can click on someone, someone's YouTube profile they don't tells even you put any content nothing. out. Yeah, right. It's not linked to their meta thing. Yeah, Whereas on okay. Instagram, it's like you can quickly find where someone lives. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Or you can see who <laughs> they're friends have. with. Yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas YouTube is not. We got someone on YouTube who was like, "It feels like you've not done enough research on Top Jaw. <laughs> top Jaw. Blah, blah, blah. It's, it's clearly just somebody who works for fucking." By the way, job. when you comment on the YouTube, we can see your original comment and then when you've edited it so he wrote like a 400 word essay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and then we saw him like multiple times edit it to like will and to be fair it did make the argument of the essay more concise so i, I like fair play on that but it was like how much time did this poor bloke spend being like excuse me you've actually been slightly harsh on top jaw because during the pandemic they were very helpful with staycations I saying yeah state of him um, but I mean yeah we didn't respond we're just having go with some posh lads I didn't even posh, read it I, didn't <laughs> even read it. I was just like yeah alright nice one mate you know get some help thanks so much for listening live show in August yeah, take care yeah, yeah. be lucky Jacob 30 <laughs> see you later <laughs>
but um, they, they, they were like, you don't do your research. That, that was the thing that really yeah, yeah. irked me. And, and I don't, you know, we do do bits of research. With Jim Skin, mm-hmm. I've contacted an expert. You went to the, you went to the source, yeah. I went to the source. So I spoke to a guy called Andrew Kerr. Now, if anyone doesn't know Andrew Kerr, just search him on Instagram. You probably will know him. Andrew and then K-E-R-R. He does like sort of characters and stuff on Instagram. It's hilarious. He, he's a very funny sort of content yeah, creator, yeah, yeah. isn't he? He's not, he's not, he's not huge. Um, but he's obsessed with Jim Skin. Right. His exact words were, "He's my favourite idiot at the moment." Okay. And he, he's he's really. I think <laughs> a good he's good metaphor for the podcast. I think he might get involved in in one of our episodes. One yeah, day. we'd love to have him as a guest. Um, but he, uh, yeah, and he was saying about Jim Skin. He was he was like, he was like, "You've got to listen to the music. The music's mad." I was like, "Okay." So I listened to the music, and it's it's that kind of like, it's a lot of like dance beats. Yes. It's like ding ding. And then over the top, people are like, Yo, I'm Jim Skin. I'm out on the town tonight. Yeah. And then <laughs> I was listening to it and I was talking to Andrew. He sent me it all. I was like, This isn't actually too bad. This is all right. right. right and then right. there was one lyric in it which was so telling and so grim. Where he, it's like it's like the verse. It's like he's talking to a girl, be like, Get ready. Bring your handbag. We're going out on the town tonight. Yeah. And then one of the lyrics is like, Make sure you bring your ID. <laughs> Jim Skin, by the way, must be like mid thirties at least. <laughs> Make sure you bring your ID. <laughs> oh man! No, but he's just—he's just being a, a, a conscientious possible yep. boyfriend. He's bring a, your ID. Bring con- a bottle of water. Stay hydrated. That well, kind of thing. Yeah. Or is it? We or, think it's slightly. Or, or, or is it? Because I go out with girls who look like they could be underage. <laughs> but it, so this is what he is, though. He's so 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 Essex, yes. right? This man could never exist in London. No. This is or, or any city. <clears throat> He's very suburban. Yeah. I mean, look. And uh, for those not listening, uh, for those not watching, by the way, in yeah. the first video we just played where he's, he's doing a little snippet of his song on TikTok, he's wearing a matching, entirely camouflage T-shirt and shorts A two-piece. Set. A two-piece. And, and he, he's, he's flexing his triceps whilst... whilst um, <laughs> The, song, and it looks the song's like, like where are you from? What's your Insta? And, he, and he's like, Essex, my Instagram is Jim Skin. <laughs> and it looks like the, the two the two piece. Or <laughs> At one point I thought, because it's because it's all like the same, it's like camouflage. At one point I thought he was wearing a little play suit. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine him if he needed to do a poo in the club, having to pull it all down at once so he'd be in the nudie. <laughs> well, okay, so now, now you've got on something here, okay. if he needs to do a poo in the club. So this guy... Like, <laughs> As I say, he's very <coughs> suburban. Mm. He's and I, I don't mean to, I, I, I'm going to say from the off. I love this guy, right. and I love what he stands for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I actually think he the lifestyle he represents is sick. Yeah, and and he's a, and the the fragility or the kind of like he's quite a genuine person. I hundred percent. Like. We're going to get to that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But he, what he is, and we've mentioned this on this podcast before, he is the most ITV two new build. <laughs> Cardboard on lease or finance. Yes. Um, silver, silver chrome uh, fittings in the house and yeah, sofa. Yeah. Like the loungewear that he wears will cost more than the suit I wore on my wedding day. Yeah. The, the, this this guy, like you will see six million of this man at Stansted Airport every single day of the week. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, he's basic is the word you use, but he, he's like he's called Jim Skin, and we love that culture. We're not d- demeaning I that love culture. That culture. Yes. I love ITV2 new build culture. They're having and fun. I, I hate London trendy types who sneer at it, yes. who look down upon it. Like I, I, there's, Guilty there's, as charged, Your Honour. Well, no, <laughs> Take no, me away. we're not. There, there's a guy called Joel Golby. Right, he's this. <laughs> yeah, okay. He's the, he's this, We're going to go for Joel Golby. Yeah, Didn't I you see care. this coming? He, he's he's like this. He's like this vice writer. <laughs> yeah. Right. He, I mean, he looks like he stinks. He's like a proper like. <laughs> no, I'm actually what he looks like. I, I know what he looks like. He's like, he's like a proper like. Vintage clothes, you know, how fucking house share at the age of thirty eight, kind of old fucking. And but the reason I'm going for him is because he puts tweets all the time. He's like, God, imagine if you still lived in your hometown and just had a mortgage on like a new build house and would like raising kids. Oh, how boring! It's like it's not fucking boring. You're boring sitting around in some fucking yeah. some freelance writer for shit publications that no one actually reads, just mm. tweeting your little fucking head off all day. Like, Jim Skin is so much cooler. Than people who live in London and think they're cool. Yeah. He's sick. He's in unbelievable shape. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't think it's actually healthy to, to do what he's doing. This next video. Shape wise. What to look like him? Yeah. I don't think the human body's supposed to look like that. I don't think I'm ever gonna have to worry about it, but <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, no. But he's like too big. And 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 in, in this next one, mm. like I mean, we'll talk about fitness and stuff in a second. 
this is to to look like Jim Skin, and he's he's one of the biggest men I've seen. Yeah, this is how you have to live. Let's just, let's just quickly watch this video. This is uh, the next one. So it's a video. So, yeah, it's, it's a video of Jim Skin in Ocean Beach eating chicken from a Tupperware. He's eating his meal prep while at. Yeah, you go. I've got my meal prep in Ocean Beach. One more time, if you don't mind, yeah, please, please, uh, dealer. <laughs> The caption, everyone's pop, popping bottles in ocean, but who's prepping meal preps? <laughs> Doesn't really make sense. <laughs> Even in Ocean Beach, you got me meal prep. Come on. <laughs> Is it now, look, if you went to Ocean Beach, mm. if you, you, you've not been to Ocean Beach. I've not, no, I've not. You might you'd be shocked to find I've not been to Ocean Beach. Uh, if you go to Ocean Beach, right, it is water wall. <laughs> it's just water wall. Nice people. Don't yeah, say... it's, it's beautiful women. Okay. Beautiful women, scantily clad. Okay. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, you know, some big guys, some footballers. You know, kind of. It's it. I mean, it feels like it could be an Attenborough documentary in there. To be honest <laughs> with you, it, it's like it's just mating grounds. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It's literally just a mating ground. It's funny, that, things, isn't it? it? To use that analogy, if if Ocean Beach in Ibiza yeah. is the human race's mating ground, yes, you know, it's like the waterhole in the jungle <laughs> where once once the females have had a little drink, they're they're going to get bread with men yeah I don't know where I'm going with this now, is it? <laughs> Jim Skin is, is the the lion the silverback gorilla he's the silverback yeah yeah, yeah. Like, like you. it doesn't matter how good you think you look in Ocean Beach in Ibiza mm. right if you think you're the biggest henchiest guy there you think you're the coolest like the, the guy if you think if there's one girl looking at anyone in this in this pool party <laughs> it's me mm. it's not because Jim, Jim Skin's Skin. there eating chicken thighs yeah. from a Tupperware. Jawline like a coat hanger. Jaw, jawline <laughs> like a coat hanger. This is, I think this is, he's done the implants here, but he hasn't had the piss taken out of him enough to where he started using the filter. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, I can't help but imagine, because the thing with Ibiza, obviously everyone there knows that everyone's taking drugs. The clubs kind of know that everyone's taking drugs. Yeah, it's kind and, of a legitimate And they also know that, the, you know, the whole economy of the island relies on people coming as tourists <laughs> taking drugs. And, and taking drugs, right? But they also do, they are stringent, Kinda right. Do you know what I mean? Well, what, I guess what? like but illness, illness and overdose is also bad for business. Yeah, so it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. Find yeah. the sweet spot. Yeah, well, yeah. Old Wayno's got a. He can't. He can't just openly let people. <laughs> no, but, no, so, no. So it's what I'm trying to get at is it's not easy to get a gram of coke into Ocean Beach. No, and it's the most drugged up place in the world. Fuck knows how you're getting a Tupperware full of chicken in there. <laughs> Imagine going through security at Open Ocean Beach and they're like, your bag, please, sir. And he's like, yeah, no, I just got my swim trunks, my sliders, meal prep, sweet. <laughs> In. And also the, um, I think <clears throat> to be that jacked, uh, it requires a level of like zealotry, this level of zealotry, right? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Where you can't just have a beer out of nowhere. You can't just be like, oh, should we have a burger or should we have a hot dog for dinner? It's like you you have to be this attentive to your you have caloric. To ruin your life. <laughs> yeah, like, right. Like, I mean, he's got a bit in one of his songs was like, I drink vodka, not lager. Right. And, and actually, the bit, the, the next. <laughs> The next line in that song, he goes, "I drink vodka, not lager. I can be your daddy, but I won't be your father." Mental. Um, but wow. basically, to your point, yes, you you cannot, you can't have a beer, you can't eat a pizza. Mm. So look like Jim Skin, and he's got a six pack and everything. You, I mean, he's on steroids. We should just say that. <laughs> like, <laughs> we're, we're tripping over ourselves. We're like, he trains seven times a week. Is it? Is it? <laughs> he's on steroids. <laughs> 25 minutes of being like this gives a wonderful shape by no, the way no no he's in amazing shape but he is also on steroids like, the human body can't look like that without chemicals <laughs> but to, 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 not, not to try and court a ding I don't, I'm not, I'd never court a ding I'm not never, trying to get no, a ding could... but the, I, I've, I've known people like Jim Skin when I was at uni there was a guy there was a guy called Nick who sort of moved into our year group he'd been at another university and transferred to ours so. right and he he was like biggest guy I've been around. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Like twelve pack, and then fucking arms the size of your legs. And mm. we used to go to the gym together. Right. And like, he's he's just the most fragile man I've ever met. Right. I I honestly, you meet him, and he was very posh as well. But he was like, Whoa, yeah, yeah, Whoa, yeah. Whoa. And he, he he wouldn't stop talking about physiques, right. either his or everyone else's. He'd literally. I, I I sort of go to the gym. I don't really care though. Mm -hmm. And I, I I've got a butterfly tattooed on my arm. And he would always be like, that butterfly's going to fly away soon because your arms are so skinny. right? He was always saying stuff like that. And I was just like, fuck off, mate, I don't care. right? But then if I said it back to him, if I was like, mate, looking skinny today, he, he would like lose his mind. He'd, he'd, have, like, a, he'd, have he'd be like, down. no, 
really? <laughs> oh god, I've, I, I've not trained hard enough. Oh god. And I, I remember, I remember once he, he was like, "You should start coming to the gym with me." You start coming to the gym. With me. I was like, "All oh, right, sweet." I started going to the gym with him, and he like it was good because he obviously knows what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. But then like <clears throat> we were there, and I remember just seeing the gym once. He just looked up at me and he was like, "I hate this." <laughs> I was like, "What?" And he's like. I just hate this so much. Please he was, he, he, kill me. That's what he was like. He, was, he, he was like, I don't enjoy training. I hate the way I eat. He was like, I, I hate constantly looking at myself in the mirror and not liking what I see. I hate this. Fuck it, like, oh, Anyway, fancy Hernandos? <laughs> but then it's, I bet, like, we'd go out with this guy. Yeah. You know, we're like students at times. Yeah, so we're, like, yeah. we're like, let's go out. We'd go out and he wouldn't drink. At all? He'd like, no, no, I've got to stay in shape. Not even a bit of vodka. And, and, and also... He would he'd he'd get girls like he'd get like good looking girlfriends, mm. but like within like three weeks they would realize how like pathetic and broken he was, and and like the the dynamic of the relationship was like them almost bossing him around, and and th- this is the thing with these guys like Jim Skin, yeah, they're so vulnerable. There's a fragility to them, a lovable fragility to them where it's like, and also you just want to say to him like, like have a night off, yeah, yeah. No one cares. Have some chicken wings. No one cares. But the problem is people do care because you make such a big deal of it. That's true. Like no, no one like no one would ever look at well, I say that I'm fucking tempting the comments now. But <laughs> no one would really look at me and you me or you or say anything about our physique. They'd never be like, Oh, I'm looking skinny today, mate. God, where's the muscles gone? Yeah, Jay? true, right. Do you know what I mean? And it's because it's because they know we don't care. Yeah, yeah. Like like no one would ever say to me, God, where's where's your pecs, mate? Because it's like, well, we've never really had any. And I like I clearly And, don't and that's care. why we've done it, by the way. That's the <laughs> only reason why we've done it. But with with Jim Skin, because he's doing videos where he's like, What's your name? What's your Insta? Bosh in the tricep. Tricep Bosh. It's like, well You're drawing attention to it. You're drawing attention to it. But you're also you're also just telling us all, I'm obsessed with how my body looks. And I think like I think when you're younger, you're like Wow, that's impressive. Whereas I think anyone who's actually tried to look like that realizes how crap your life has to be to live like that. Yeah, like true. How often and how strictly you have to eat, mm. how you can't booze, how you have to train so much to the point it is completely unenjoyable. Mm. And then you're just like, now, if I see someone who's like really hench, I'm like, God, you poor bastard. <laughs> and also, I think, like you say, the, if you're in Ocean Beach and you look as. As, and that particular aesthetic in Ocean Beach is very desirable, presumably. Even like if you're going to Joe, where Joe Golby goes clubbing, you probably maybe you want some weedy bloke with a laptop. I don't know. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah. If, in Ocean Beach, like he, like you say, he's the silverback. I he, one of the yeah. Sorry, carry well, on. Well, one of the only reasons I could think that a, a, an attractive man or woman would not want to have sex with Jim Skin is if I saw him eating a Tupperware of chicken. <laughs> Yes, well, yeah, in a yeah. nightclub. Also, I bet. He, I mean, we spoke about Eddie Abu last week. I bet he stinks. I bet. I bet Jim Skin farts. Oh, flatulence! Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, bet yeah. he farts like a bastard. <laughs> uh, but this is the thing, though. I actually don't think. I don't think women are that impressed by this. No, I mean, my wife is constantly saying to me she doesn't like built guys or tall guys or guys that are good at stand up. So <laughs> I think it's, it's it's all good. I mate, I, honestly, I don't think they actually care that much. I, I, I think men care about men's physiques much more than women, women do. Care about. In, in the, like, like, my missus would be like, oh, my Tommy's looking big. I'm like, oh, I don't fucking care. <laughs> I don't care. That's the wrong answer, by the way. The answer is no, it isn't. But it's, it's not. I, 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 okay. <laughs> we we'll have to edit this one. Happy birthday, by the way, darling. No, <laughs> it's her birthday tomorrow. God. No, but, no, but seriously, I don't I don't I'm care. I'm trying to watch a football here, love. I don't care. But I don't care. Yeah. I don't care. No, I don't like, care. Like, the, the small bit, like, if you're, like, women don't think that Jim Skin looks that different to anyone else in, in Ocean Beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we do. Yeah, yeah. Because we think about men's bodies more than women do. And it, and, and I think that he's still, a tr- like, there's still a notable attractiveness. There's a notable, like, well, aesthetic kind of, I suppose yeah attractiveness to him but like you say when it really comes down to it and maybe it's like yeah if you're trying to differentiate in Ocean Beach off of just the visual who you're going to have a snog with that night that's useful then in terms of who you're going to be married to or you're going to spend the rest of your life with ultimately that's not how you're making your decision no no we'll we'll go to the next clip yeah Um, yeah this one I can't remember let's have a look at this one so I'm in the middle of making oh here we go and I've seen that Jack's commented on my post star player for Manchester United like, what do you mean by that? Okay. So yeah, this is the fragility again. So this is this. Is, so so, the, it, I don't want to take the piss out of this too hard because I, I think this is actually quite sad. So the story with this, I have to explain this a bit. In in that video, 
he's got a filter on his face. Yes. He's got the kind of piss take facial implants filter. Yeah. But the reason he's doing that is because he did get facial implants. Right. Everyone started taking the mick out of them. Yeah. So what he did to kind of own it, Mm -hmm. quote unquote, is every video he puts up now, he's got the piss take kind of filter on his face. Right. And people don't realise it's a filter. People think that's actually him. Okay. So then they can leave comments like, you're the star player for Manchester United. And then he responds to them being like, what? What do you mean? Okay. And, and, it, and it's like, so it is as though he can take a joke. <laughs> yeah, but what he's there. done is he's letting people joke about something that isn't actually real. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah. the equivalent of this, say I you know, put on a little bit of weight and started getting loads of... Um, comments on my Instagram being like, oh, fat, you're fat, fat, yeah, yeah. fat, ha, ha, Jacob's fat, right? <laughs> now, the, what this isn't doing is me owning that by just replying to those and being like, I'm not fat, and then getting a belly out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What it's me doing would be wearing a fat suit, <laughs> and, then, and then people going, well, yeah, you're fat, and me going, ha, ha, well, I can take a joke. It's like, well, you clearly can't because you, you've 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 got like an artificial version of the thing someone's joking. Right, right, right. So it, it's, it, it's exactly as you say it. It's an incredibly layered display of fragility <laughs> from a man who spent so much time on TikTok that he's completely lost his. And mind. by the way, just like a, as we've alluded to a number of times, just like a good-looking, uh, just a normal-looking guy. If if he, if he didn't have the facial implants and if he hadn't gone absolutely nuts with the gym, <laughs> yeah. he would just be like a, a decent-looking fella in yeah. good shape. He, he looks like Mark Wright. Yeah, but uh, uh, we've talked a lot on this on the podcast about like where things end up with mm. all of this stuff. It's like so he started as a musician, right? Presumably, like with anyone <laughs> in creative arts, you kind of just want people to listen to your thing. You to, want to, to generate be, an audience. To be honest with you, I don't know if he started with that. Okay. I think he might that have just started doing Instagram and TikTok <clears throat> and stuff. And then like similar with a lot of them, it's like, right, I've got a few followers. I need to do something. something. I mean, like, so for example, Dan Bennett. <laughs> yeah. The, so again, we've done an episode about Dan Bennett in the past. He's the guy who um, yeah, makes these insane Instagram reels where he's like, where to go on holiday, watch this video, go to Malia, meet nine out of ten Swedish birds, take them home, have a Guinness, sorted, right? That guy is now a touring stand-up comedian. No way. Did you not know this? No. Yeah. He did the backyards the other day. So that, so again... Please, we're trying to make money out of this. Please stop. The, these, basically, what I'm saying is, these content creators, they do something daft online, they build enough of a following, and then they go, fuck, I need to do something. <laughs> I've got to have another I need, thing. I, well, I need, I need to make money. Yeah. So Dan yeah, Bennett yeah. is like, I'm top... Oh, sorry, that's my alarm. Go on. Why have you got an alarm at 10 in the morning? Because uh, that's, my, that's my weekend alarm for 10 o'clock. I had a late night on Saturday, I you thought. lucky bastard. <laughs> That's pathetic. Fucking weekend alarm at ten o'clock. I got home. I got home you, from. You also, and you say sometimes you're like, yeah, I don't sleep well. I always get up in the morning. Fucking weekend well, alarm I, at I ten o'clock. I woke up. I woke up at eight off the back of that. All right. I didn't even use it in the end. I had the shopping. I had a Tesco shop coming. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna explain myself to you. I haven't got any kids. What do you want me to do? The fucking weekend. Weekend alarm at ten o'clock. How old are you? Thirty two. I went away on Saturday. I didn't get home until midnight. And then I'd had a long day. Midnight, <laughs> midnight. <laughs> Baby needs a ten-hour sleep after staying up till midnight. Fuck me. I'm taking the bell back with me. Get <laughs> rescinded. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what were we talking about before your little fucking baby God, alarm went off? Wake up, baby Jake, after he's had his ten hours and warm up his bottle for him. Look, it's self care, <laughs> all right. Ten hours sleep, I can't believe it. Right, sorry, what I didn't get about? ten hours sleep, <laughs> and even if I did, that wouldn't be a bad thing. We've made different choices in our ten life. Hours. I didn't make any choices. I'm just <laughs> shit with condoms. Shit with condoms. I'm I'm not good at holding my own when she's asking like for a to... second kid, and then I have got some stupid cat that wakes me up now as well. For fuck's I'd like sake. to apologise to the rotters for sleeping too much. Ten hours, loving That's too deeply. That's too much. That's too much. Sorry, what were we talking about before your <laughs> fucking baby alarm went off? We got an alarm for. What's that? Um, Ten what... in the morning on a Monday. <laughs> Sorry, it's not for today. I'm here now. <laughs> Sorry, what, what were we saying? What were we talking about? Uh, Dan oh, Bennett's oh, a touring oh, comedian. I thought you had to like, take some pills or something. That's like my mother-in-law. She's got like the alarms that go over. like, oh, it's time for my pills. I have one of those as well. <laughs> and I'm going to have to add another alarm now because of the mental health you've just given me. I'm going to start texting One the fucking lion. <laughs> one sure, lion. Make sure he's awake. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, Dan Bennett, the sorted I had guy. a long week at work last week 
And then we went away. I went away with my brother and I didn't get back. Uh, by the way, I got back to Euston at, at midnight. I didn't get <laughs> home till one. All right. Just because you're out to all hours of the day. In order to preserve my very fragile mental health, which is made worse, by the way, because every time you upload a reel on our Instagram, you do the fucking font different every single <laughs> fucking time. All right. If we're going to talk about that, if we're going to have a go, if we're going to bring up some home truths about my sleeping patterns, we can talk about the fonts and every single time. And then every year you're uploading an emu on there and then the poets <laughs> reporting it. And then we're, our very small following is getting diminished because of that. So, so that's why I'm trying to sleep. All right. Because sleep is the best way of supporting your mental health. And mine is in the fucking gutter because you don't know how to use capitals and non-capitals on the, on the Canva that we use to describe our thumb. Uh, d- 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 fuck off. <laughs> Thanks very much for listening. We'll see you next week. <laughs> No, I feel, it feels facile to talk about Dan Bennett standing up to now. Dan Bennett's getting more fucking spots in the backyard than I am. And I'm having to come around here to sit in your spare room for you to be like, what are you doing? Sleeping too much? You gay or something? <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. We've got to move on. We've got to move All on. All the parents in my life are so jealous about how much other people sleep. It's like it's like admitting that you you've like won the lottery in front of people. What time did you wake up this morning? I woke up about half. Eight. Oh, you bet you fucking didn't you? I was up at half five. All right, I haven't got any children yet. <laughs> right. Um... <laughs> <laughs> that was very wise. That was very wise. <laughs> Okay, Jim Skin. Jim Skin. So, so okay. Let's map out. Let's map out the journey that Jim Skin's been on. <laughs> he started uploading videos of himself. He started. He, he got into music because he needed a way of monetizing yes. it. He started making. They the, always have to do something. Yeah, after the, they become the crazy famous. songs was like, right. <laughs> make sure you bring your ID. Yeah. How old are they, Jim Skin? <laughs> We're not um, really sure. And then, uh, so he's kind of. Now he's gone full circle mm-hmm. and he's set up his own agency. Yeah. <laughs> he's set up his own TikTok agency. And it, it it feels very kind of pyramid salesy. Right. It feels like someone's got in him got him in and gone, Your shelf life is short, Jim Skin, you know, you're think not getting something. any younger. You you can't <clears throat> keep fucking taking meal preps to Ocean Beach in the beef. <laughs> They're like, You gotta think about the long term, mate. There's no pension in TikTok. So he's like, Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's start my own agency. So now he's representing TikTokers, he's trying to help people make money from TikTok. And this is one of the videos where he's trying to advertise his services, I think. Do you want to earn between £530,000 a week? You're pretty fit. What? TikTok lives are the place to do that. If you don't believe me, proof's in the pudding. <laughs> click the live button, go on the live, any live stream in the UK, click weekly ranking and check out what every single creator has earned that week. Creator. If you're on a million diamonds, that's 10,000 US dollars. After you take away the fees, that's 4,000 UK pound. Pan. Any creator on there, you can see what they take home. If they've took 6 million diamonds for that week, they're taking over 20,000 UK pounds. And everyone who's watching this video can do so also. Listen, Do so if you're also. someone that wants to get involved, there's a link in my bio. I now am partnership with TikTok. I've got an agency called Streamwork Streamers Agency. You can get involved with us. Stream Click the link streamers. in the bio. Fill out the form. I'll literally contact you personally. I'll literally I'll contact you. I'm <laughs> streamers and earning financial income and getting financial freedom from whatever financial you're doing in life right now. Step by step, alongside myself, there's been number one in the UK. I've smashed UK ranks. I've got the knowledge. I've got over half a million followers. I've got over 100 million hits on my channel. And I'm partnered up with TikTok. I do not take a penny off you guys. Oh, I, don't, take a penny I don't believe that. Gifts. I get paid through TikTok. So it's a win win for you lot. So if you're someone that wants to change your life and start earning serious financial gain and you want to start live streaming, links in the bio. I'll see you on. I'll see you on the other side. Big love. <laughs> see you on the other side. Is he going to kill you? <laughs> but it, like, he's lost his mind. Yeah, he's lost his mind. What's he talking about? Diamonds. Diamonds. I, I think that's a TikTok <clears throat> thing that you get, you get given diamonds when you do a live stream. But yeah. And he, people can earn money out of that, I guess. But like the idea, I love it. Like the kind of, look, this is a win win. I don't make any money. I'm doing this because I'm getting paid by them and sometimes by you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, mainly yeah, by yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, I, don't, I, can't, I can't believe that, it's, to be true. It's, it's, this is the thing nowadays. There are so many people who end up doing this kind of grift where right. they. They, and it, there's so many things where it's like, 
I need. I just want to teach you how to have financial freedom. I just want to teach you my methods, which are working so well for me that I've stopped using the methods to teach the methods to other people. It's like, hang on a minute. If those methods are working so well for you, why, why, you, why, why, why aren't you just doing that? Why are you teaching people to? You? It's like you know, like you get like drama teachers at schools, and they're like, I could have made it in musical theatre. I had all the talent to be the greatest singer in the West End. It's like we well, didn't. Otherwise, you wouldn't be working at a school. Do you know what I mean? It's like in, in the same way as like Jim Skin's like, I was number one in the UK. I'm the best streamer. I can make 20 grand. And it also, like, the numbers he states are insane. He's like, if you want to make between 300 quid and 500 grand in a week, it's like, whoa, 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 hang on a minute, mate. I mean, there's a bit of a gap that's sort of between 300 pounds and 500 grand. It's like, well, I think what you're sort of doing there is you're preparing yourself for people to make 300 pounds a week mm. by sat there desperately streaming themselves What's over the average? and over again. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Not, not the average not in the, the middle. <laughs> What's the median? Yeah, What's the right. most frequent number that people receive? Because I suspect, Jim Skin, it's 300 pounds. After sat there all day, every day going, please send me a diamond. I'm streaming my bollocks. <laughs> I actually, and again, talking about what we love, and this is really redolent of our childhoods. People with a, like kind of southern eastern accents that strong. Yes, crater, crater, crater. Yeah, well, I love that. That really reminds me of lots of fun people I knew when I was young. But to come back to what I said at the beginning about Essex being so culturally impactful, mm. like uh, everyone wants to look like that. All around the UK, mm-hmm. people, he wears kind of like sport wear to clubs. Yes. Everyone does that. I saw, I saw this mad TikTok the other day where it was like a club in like Bradford. Right. And they were going along the line being like, uh, being like, um, what do you wear when you go out? What do you wear for a night out? And they're like, Nike TNs or Nike Windrush on me feet. Uh, Windrush, I don't think that's a brand of train. I think that's, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Nike Windrush. <laughs> it's like Nike, Nike TNs or Nike Air Maxes and then just, yeah, just an un- Under Armour trackie. If it's nice weather, Under Armour shorts. That, the reason people up north do that is because of people from Essex. And I think the whole streaming, mm-hmm. TikTok, essentially just kind of like fame hungry put my face on a screen doing absolutely anything yeah it was born from the only way is essex yeah i i honestly i think the only way is essex and there's a reason so many of these people are essex bevo essex Mm. this guy essex hs tiktoky essex Essex. they're all essex tom skinner tom skinner essex Mm. big john Essex. essex they're all essex yeah essex is like the epicenter of uk tiktok it's (laughs) <laughs> it is they're all from Essex and, and if you look at the way people dress around the UK mm. the way people speak the fact that we mentioned him earlier ironically Charlie Parsons some boxing content creator from the fucking Cotswolds <laughs> is wearing Stone Island and going Chava Eddie Hearn Chava it's Essex people want to be like Essex and I, uh, maybe again to like because we most of these people we really like or there's something really lovable about them there's something about the Essex cult. you know they say like oh the Scousers are quite witty or whatever um, or like there's kind of those regional stereotypes isn't yes, there the yes. Yorkshire they're quite straightforward yes. like, there's something about Essex where there's like there, there's the cheeky chappy isn't there the it's cheeky thing. chappy it's, it's like it's charismatic it's, it's, charismatic yeah. it's affable affable it's fun funny it's, and it's a bit vulnerable it's yeah, a bit vulnerable, yeah, yeah. and, and because there's that kind of like, and I, I think it's a bit of a daft stereotype to be honest. But there's that stereotype that they're thick, yeah, yeah, that they're idiots, no, and they're, no, I don't no. think they are. That's definitely not true. That adds a level of vulnerability to them. It does. That that makes them feel it's like they don't they don't come across as cunning. No, that's right. You're right. They're really like they're really open honest. in a in a an honest in a lovable way, and that goes back to the and some of it comes out in the kind of like oh aren't they thick? But like you know all of that stuff with like Joey Joey Essex and Nana Pat and stuff like that just kind of complete openness. They're of, really like, oh, I love family. Me, Nana they're Pat, really, really family orientated. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. something about that that is is people want to be a part of that. I think and and they the the sense of humor is very open and like they they're willing to laugh at themselves as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And he's so aware of the prospect of being like laughed at that it's made him feel, feel quite self-conscious i think well, in a yeah way. he's doing this incredibly layered thing of kind mm. of taking a piss out of himself but not actually himself because he's doing a filter that he's allowing people <laughs> to take the piss out yeah. of. but it, yeah i completely agree and the the whole like stereotype of like the the new build itv2 yeah, blah, yeah. blah 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 it's like i i agree that that stereotype is a bit cringe and a bit silly. Mm-hmm. And I do, I definitely, there's people I went to school with, and I, I didn't go to school in Essex, I went to school in Hertfordshire, but it's quite close to Essex. Yeah, and, and similar-ish. And it is, it is similar-ish. And it's, I think you're right to say it's almost the southeastern of England. It's yeah, it's like eastern of London, like, yeah. Like Kent is very similar to right, this as right, well. Right. But all of those people are absolutely lovely. Yeah. Like, I, there were people that I went to school with who I think people would call 
oh, they're a bit ITV2, new building, mm. blah, blah, blah. They are lovely. Yeah. And I would absolutely rather go for a beer with them or with Jim Skin every single day of the week yeah. than the kind of the London inner city uh, cooler alternatives. Right. And, and I think we can, I think leave it on that. I just like Jim Skin, it's mad, right? <laughs> His his body shouldn't look like that. The stuff yeah. he comes out with is insane, and um, I, I think maybe you could argue it's a bit kind of quote unquote toxic in the sense of like um, body imagey stuff. Body imagey yeah. stuff, and also you know when he's like bring your ID, it's like ooh, Jim Skin, <laughs> easy boy. <laughs> but there's a vulnerability, there's, there's an a vulnerability. honesty, yeah, and and. I think he's lovely. And a willingness to take a piss out of himself. Maybe too much. Maybe too much. And if there's a message to Jim's in, it's, it's this. We love you for who you are. We love you for who you are, mate. Underneath the filter. Underneath the, the un, man un, beneath the filter. The man beneath the, the camouflage two-piece. Two <laughs> the man beneath the triceps. Yeah. We care about all of you, Jim Skin. Yeah, yeah. We love the County of Essex. Up the Big John. Up the Mrs. Hinch. Up the Gemma Collins. Up the Jim Skin, most importantly. We'll see you next week. See you next week. 